everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this really lovely um, drop down gatefold card. Um, I've finished it with a belly band. You could just pop it into an, a 6x6 envelope if you would prefer. Um, it's using some of the supplies from this month's um, hobby base kit. So it's the May kit. And we received this lovely rose dye, this, these papers, um, and some of the gems. So basically, you just take off the belly band. Or the wrap and then you've got your normal gatefold so it opens and then as you lift it up this piece drops down and that is the card and you can see it's really special for somebody special um yeah i think it's really nice i've got it so that the sentiments here where you would write your message and stuff you could put that on the back if you wanted to and have more decoration here um but i just if i bring up a bit closer there I've got the rose on each side. I just adore that rose. It's just so lovely. Um, and you can see there some of the faceted gems that I've used. And this paper is the V&A paper pack. So when we received some of it in the kit, I actually had lots of it already as well. So it worked out really well for me. Um, and yeah, I just put the happy birthday sentiment. So this is a special card and I love it. And then basically that folds up. It all does, that's how it would be displayed. Okay, and then it just folds back up and then you fold in your sides and pop it back in its belly band. And it is very easy to make and um, it's just down to getting all your mats and your layers sorted out and a little bit of die cutting. So let's crack on and make it. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to go through all the card stock and we'll do the decoration after. We'll get it all put together first. So the main card, you need a piece of 12 by 12. And I was, I was scoring it and then I started cutting it and I thought, oh my God, I'm not even recording. So I just went into a bit there, but it's fine. I can still talk you through. So this is the main card base, which is 12 by 12. And you want to score, I go on the right side. So you just want to score at three, nine, and then rotate it and score at six. Okay, so you will have that shape there. Then you will need, again, you know, watch the tutorial first because you may decide you don't want to have this many mats and layers, but basically I've got two pieces here, which are going to be my mats, which are five and three quarters squared, two pieces. Two pieces of these layered pieces, um, which are five and a half by five and a half. And then again, I've got these mats here, which are two and three quarters by five and three quarters. And then the layers for on top of them are two and a half by five and a half. So two of all the, uh, two of all those sizes that I've just given you. Okay, so um, let's get rid of the scoreboard and bring this back in and we can burnish all of our score lines. So. I've already cut that one, so I just need to carefully do that. Okay, like so. So now I can carry on. So what you want to do with your scissors is, um, it doesn't matter which side because they're both the same, but I'm just starting down here. So you want to cut up to the middle score line and then we're going to remove that piece. Now you need to be really neat because this is going to be your base and this is the side of that gatefold. So I am removing all of the score lines and just take some time making sure you get it nice and straight like so. And then you want to do the same on this side here. So again, I'm just removing the score line. Okay, so that's the shape you should have. Keep these pieces because we're going to be probably using them when we decorate. So now when you turn it over, that's the gatefold. Well, that will come up like, oh, like so, and then that will fold over like so. Okay, or it would be that way with that. It's entirely up to you really, but I think you want to have it like that. That's why I said it depends on how you want to decorate it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shear off a little bit more from these sides because when it goes in and that, see that side's fine. Oh, that side seems okay now. Well, maybe you just have to work it a bit. It's fine now. <laughs> when I first put it in, it seemed like it was catching, but just go in and just burnish it all just so it sits in there nicely, like so. Okay, so then we open it up, that will fall down and there is our card. So now we want to start to decorate so this is when all these mats and layers come into play so 
these two largest mats, one is going to go here and they've got a nice um, uh, one eighth of an inch border. This one is going to go down the bottom like so. Then the biggest layers are going to go on top. And again, that one there. And then the smaller mat and layers. You've got two mats for the front and then the two layers. Okay, so that is all of the mats and layers put down. So now, if you imagine that's how it would be received, you want to just make sure that it all you know, lies flat, just burnish it again. But then when you open it and that drops down, it does stay up perfectly now because it's weighted here. It will not fall back at all. It will even, I mean, look, I could put it there. It does just stay. So it's really nice. So just to decorate it, so I've gone ahead and prepared all the bits and pieces. So I've got, this bit is going to go on the base. I mean, you could have yours up there if you want, but I like that there so that people will see that. So people are just coming into the room and that's what you always look at and that's going to be all the decoration and here will be where I'll write my message. Alternatively, you could have more design there and you could have this piece on the back and write your message there. So it's entirely up to you. But I'm going to have that piece there. I've got this for my belly band. I've printed off this one, someone special. And that's going to go up there. And then that's for my belly band, that's for my belly band. And then I've gone and with the dye that came in the kit, um, this month is the rose dye, which I think, and I've said this before, it looks just like the rose from the Beauty and the Beast movie. It's so pretty, I love it. So I've um, die cut this in gold and I'm going to have one on that side and one on that side. And then I've gone ahead and die cut just loads of the leaves and I want to kind of, I'm going to cut them up more, but I want to have them kind of coming around out of this a bit as well. So I'm not going to do too many, just a few. I'm going to, like I said, trim them down. But I'm going to go and get those three, four bits stuck down and then we can start on the belly band. Okay, so you can see there what I've done and just, it is really, really special, this card. I love it. It's come together so nicely. And obviously now when that stands up. So that is the profile that someone would see. Um, so now the belly band. Um, so fold it all up. Again, I've got a bit of bulk on mine now, but it does still work. But do all your decoration before you do the belly band. And then I've got a piece of, let me tell you what this is. Um, so it's just the default A4 length. So this is 11 and 5 eighths. Um, 11 would just about go round. It won't, it won't meet up, neither does the um, A4. 12 would be ideal, I guess, if you want it to join, but it doesn't need to. And it's by one and a half. Basically, you just want to sit this, um, if you've got a grid mat underneath like I have, I'm just lining it up there. And you just want to have an even amount on each side and then just fold it over. And you see mine doesn't even join, but I've then got this circle, which I've prepared, which when I stick it, it will attach to both the sides there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is keep it in place and put a splodge of glue on each side and then just sit that over the top um, if yours is if you're using 11 inch it's obviously going to be a little bit shorter but a square um, die will be nice because it'll match the square of this I just like the circle because I've then die cut just the head of the rose and put some foam on the back and that's going to go in the middle and that's all I'm going to keep on it I have got more of the little bits here I guess yeah I might put some of them in as well we'll see so I'm just gonna let that sit okay and then if you just slide it off and then you can just burnish them better and then decorate it up so I'm just gonna remove my backing you obviously you can put anything you want on here whether you want to do another sentiment it's entirely up to you like so, and then do I want to add this? Just have a little play around and see if they work. Yeah, I actually think I quite like that. I haven't stuck them there yet, so I'm going to put it on and just see what it looks like, but they're just kind of wedged underneath it for the minute. So now you can slide it back in. It should fit. Like so. There we go. Yeah, I quite like that. There we go. <laughs> 
I'll stick it in a minute. But that's the nice thing about just kind of playing around with things. You don't have to kind of commit straight away. You can put them in there. I think it just kind of lifts that plain cream band that I've got. So there is that card. So that is my drop down gatefold card. And I just think it's really nice. I love it. And I love the different kind of colours. Um, I think it is, yeah, a really special card for someone special. So there you go. So I hope you've enjoyed this one um, using some of the supplies from my May Hobby Base kits. As always, you can find all the links if you'd like to subscribe to receive the kits um, in the video description below. Um, otherwise, I'll be back again next Wednesday with another Hobby Base inspired project. So please give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.